and we're ready for tutorial number three here. Well, first tutorial, got our pictures in. Second one, we added the text on top of the pictures here. Um, third, we're going to record, okay, or, or annotate on top of it. Um, narrate, sorry, not annotate. We just annotated on top a minute ago. Narrate on top. Um, so, pretty simple. You can narrate your story by clicking the red record button. Step through the pictures as you narrate by clicking on the picture on the film strip. So pretty simple. So you hit record, start talking. When you're done talking about this one, go to the next one. Now I added my text here. If you do not want to, they have this nice option here. So for my first slide, so let's say I type in um On my second slide, I type in whatever else. You know what I mean? So instead of copying and pasting here, you could copy and paste here and leave your pictures. So you'd have like a picture story, or more like a, a movie instead of a book. We did kind of like a digital book on mine. But you could certainly type your text here instead of here. But I didn't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you here. So let's record. Attitude Adjustment by Mitchell English. Click on the next slide. Once there was a little boy who only wanted to watch SpongeBob. This is what his math teacher looked like when little Joe Cool didn't know the answers. The ELA teacher wasn't so happy with his ignorance either. So Little Joe Cool decided to finally listen to his parents and become Little Joe Responsible. And I did not add my last slide, but I can certainly do that here. And by the way, it's recording what I said because I did not hit the stop. So these are very short, 14 seconds. And I even did some other talking um, on top of the video. So this is cool. I mean, the students can do this. It takes them quite a while. They get up. They show off and it doesn't take up much class time. So really cool and they're you know once again do it for science projects, math, assignments or projects um, you know this is the top of bloom scale right here okay you're creating new things and that's what's awesome about it. The students are creating, they're exploring, they're out researching, they're finding new data that you know they're gonna pay more attention when they can show off rather than have you blab at them all day. So let them create, let them show off their skills, their uh, electronic skills. And in the final slide or tutorial, tutorial number four, we'll save this. All right, thank you very much.